Hey guys, so this episode is a bit to talk uh, about the future and I have a dream since a little while now which would be to participate into uh, the Mini Transat in 2021. And for this, I need your help. I need your networking. I need your contacts. So here is how the story started. One hundred episode. I would have never thought I would get that far in this vlogging adventure. If you haven't followed this channel since the beginning, I've started filming when I was refitting my boat back in France in the countryside. Bon Victor, explique-nous le chantier un peu. <rire> Then I took off on my big journey. I started from France with some friends heading to Baleares. We got us kicked on the way. It's pretty interesting. Page de de cette première traversée, Christian, présente-toi. 25 to 30 knots wind with three to four meter waves. Tu as entendu quoi? Moi, je suis. I'm very happy. Then I started the single-ended part of my journey from uh, Baleares through Gibraltar and towards Madeira but I got my ass kicked again so I ended up in Canary Island. I was planning on spending two weeks there, but I loved it so much and met so many wonderful people that I spent two months exploring just the Canary Islands. Then my dad joined me in Canary Islands and we cast it off lines across the big pond. Because it's quite an easy crossing, light winds, maybe too light. After 31 days at sea, we arrived in Martinique safe and sound. It was an amazing adventure and sharing this with my dad was a treat. But I landed in the Caribbean with a new idea. Sail faster and race across oceans. So I started sailing around the Caribbean. As a guideline, not the nice beaches and a nice spot like most tourists do, but following the regatta circuit. I first joined Le Voile de saint Bart, then the Antigua Sail Week, just dog walking and finding boats that would accept me uh, as a crew just to gain experience racing. So that's the boat, that's a J1. I spent 
one season in the Caribbean like this before storing my boat in the mangrove to head back to the Mediterranean to work, make some money and also join more regattas to keep uh, working on my experience racing. I returned to my boat for another amazing season of sailing adventures in the Caribbean. Meeting friends along the way and making the most out of my journey and my time there. It was a bit, was a bit painful to go. Because my time was counted, I had been recruited by the Clipper Round the World Race as a first mate and I had one month to sell my boat and travel to England to start my new work. Soon enough, I was in Gosport, training my new crew for a race around the world. Time flew by and now we are already halfway across the race. So far we're doing good, ranking second overall for now. It's a result that neither Josh or myself would have ever imagined a few months ago. So it's it's amazing. So here I am, thinking about what is going to come after Clipper for me. I think I still want to race. My time on the ocean isn't over and I'm not ready to go back to charter for now. So maybe it's time to go on with an old dream I have, race the Mini Transat. The Mini Transat is a race from France to the Caribbean on 6.5 meters boat, single ending. You know the Imoca 60s? Well imagine a small version of an Imoca, that's a Mini 6.5. The race is really minimalistic. No assistance, barely any electronics, no weather forecast. It's just sailing, back to the basics on powerful go-karting of the seas. It's really exciting. This could be the next big move for me. Lots of famous skippers have started with this race. But before even thinking of doing good in this race, I need to be able to get on the start line. I need a boat, a place to leave it while training, participate in the qualification racing and prepare the boat. And as always, it comes down to money. This channel doesn't make me leave, but maybe it can help me leverage the fund necessary to participate in this race. Maybe you, or maybe you know someone, or maybe you know someone who knows someone uh, who could be interested in sponsoring me to uh, get on the start line of this race. If you do, then my email is right there below, uh, it's in the description of this video. Just yeah, get in touch with me, get them in touch with me. Uh, that would be that would be a, an amazing help. Time is running out. If I want to secure a competitive boat, I need to act now. So get into your contact list and find me this person who's ready to embark with me on this crazy project. And if you don't know anyone, worry not. Just share this video as widely as you can, and maybe I'll get lucky somewhere down the line. Until anything moves on that front, 
uh, keep posted, lots of racing footage to come, lots of cruising footage from back when I was in the Caribbean, still to be edited, so stay posted, keep liking the videos, subscribe, and yeah, just share this, thanks a lot.